he has come down as a living bread from heaven if that bread was only seen or heard and if i don't feed it doesn't become part of me so i have to tell to myself to my mind that is easily falls into insecurity to my spirit that easily falls into what happens in the world so i have to feed every minute that my god is my father my god is my security till the end of my life he will be with me today i am alive because my god wants me to live there was a great philosopher called freud he said why should i live because i have the feelings emotions i live if the feelings are fulfilled i am happy he's a stupid man at the end of his death he called his sister and he told her to oh god tell tell oh god if there is a god save my soul if there is a soul he died till the end like that and there was another correct card another philosopher he came with another thing why should i live the trees are more valuable than me if the trees are cut they are gone in the same way if the life is gone i am gone nobody wants me nobody is going to remember me i am an unwanted being then came another great philosopher called gabriel marcel a christian philosopher he said i am here because someone wants me to be here i am here because someone wants me to be here my god has brought me into the world because he has kept me in this time because god has a mission where i am living god has a mission to the family in which i am living and he has found me and he has sent me that i become his representative to bring god's light to my dark world to my dark family if i see the problem of the family and cry over the family god will cry over me because god has not sent me to merely watch over the problems or the struggle of the problem or crying over the problem or get tensed with the problem rather to find i am the solution i am the child of god from heaven if moses could raise the hands and could win the amalekites if joshua could kneel and pray and stop the sun and moon if the disciples shared can heal why can't you and me when we move into god all that of god moves into us but the problem with us is we hear the word but we don't want to move into god we don't want to get into his word and we don't want to surrender ourselves we try to hold on to ourselves and we die with ourselves but today once again the lord calls us self telling us i am your identity i am your security i have a purpose for you to live i have given a mission to live live out your mission be my light and my salt to this world in today's first reading we find stephen filled with the holy spirit that's what the bible says they are all standing and questioning him but stephen was filled with the holy spirit and his face was shining if he stephen a normal human being like you and me if he has reached that stage why not you and me stephen has become a challenge for all of us stephen is standing a light for all of us yes he says he says the bible says stephen was filled with the holy spirit if stephen could reach what stops me to become like stephen to grow in faith like stephen let's think of it second thing today's first thing says stephen spoke with courage he said you are the one who destroyed the source of life yes 
the spirit of god if i commit he will give the courage it's up to me to move into the courage of the lord or to get stuck up with the fear of this world to move with the mission of the lord or to move or to get stuck up with the insecurity and the fear of the world it's up to us stephen moved himself we have got a body the body has many needs i have to eat i have to rest i have to walk i have to exercise i have to take care of my immune system i also have a spirit my spirit also has desires it is crying to kneel before him to get up and feed my mind with god's word to be filled with his nine fold gifts and fruits to know the visions of god the plan of god for the humanity and help the humanity walk with the humanity with god's power and glory it's up to us stephen could reach that and he stands as a challenge for you and me third stephen spoke spade as spade he didn't hide he didn't please anybody he said hello you killed the author of life you killed every prophet your forefathers never left he said spade as spade he never bothered that inner courage which comes from god that's what we read in second timothy 17 we have not given the spirit of fear or disturbance and worries but spirit of courage spirit of filled with the love i have someone who loves me as i am then for whom shall i be afraid yes you will say the truth and the truth will set you free and holy spirit wants to give it to you stephen achieved that greatness fourth stephen was not afraid to witness to what god has done for him till the end they are asking are you are you believing in jesus are you confessing jesus is the lord he says what jesus is the lord i am seeing man the son of god jesus christ is coming with the glory he witnesses to jesus if he tells he knows very well they will stone him he is least of bother about it he witnessed to jesus till the end of his breath this is the call for which not to go get frightened and live a small little world god is calling you the world is dying in sin the world is dying in insecurity the world is dying in sickness god is looking for people who can commit to themselves to him and to be filled with his power and glory and give him to the world if you and i don't do it still we live for ourselves god is calling you commit your life for a higher goal for a higher purpose after all your life is once on this earth for whom are you afraid if you are interested especially the youngsters come courageously we will train you with a word and wherever you are one or two years you can train yourself and then move into the world have your jobs as you desire build up your families with god with his power and glory god is calling stephen stood for god fifth we find stephen fulfills the desire of his spirit as bodily we have the desires there are also the spirit has the desire what is the desire stephen as he was dying he says father into your hands i commit my spirit every child of god who moves in the spirit desires at the end of the day i have to reach my god i have to fulfill the desires of my god and that's what stephen did he said i commit my spirit into your hands what a peace yes and then we also find that stephen as he was praying father father into your hands i commit my spirit but do not remember the sins of this people 
yes he overcomes the hurts and the wounds the world gives to us satan's trick is not to reach us not to move into god by remembering our own hurts and wounds that we receive in the world we could stack up that man spoke like this my brother did not speak to me my sister could not do that for me i did all that so i did not get this all this worldly thinking worldly traditions worldly way of life move away from it to godly thinking think of forgiveness you should not go to sleep even if one person whose hurt is still lingering kneel down and surrender the person and tell that person as though the person is near you as hello my son hello my brother hello mr i forgive you jesus i forgive him you take care of him if it's possible call on him or her and say sorry sir mr madam you have hurt me but i have forgiven you it's up to you go in peace